Hello and welcome back to the channel. These intros are getting progressively stranger, aren't they? So, uh, no, the title of the video is not clickbait. You can still get a house in Las Vegas for under $250,000. And a pretty nice one at that. We're going to head to Centennial Hills today. We're going to go look at a $245,000 house built in 2011. That's about 1,100 square feet. It's beautiful, turnkey, and ready to go. And just a quick update to everyone that's been asking about my owner build pool. If you guys have been watching my videos, um, I did a video on five ways that you can enjoy and own a pool here in Las Vegas. So here's how mine is coming along. An owner build pool is where uh, the owner of the house acts as the contractor, subcontractor, and hires out all the work without using a pool company. So it's coming along nicely. We haven't had really any snags yet other than my backyard is literally World War III. I mean, it's like, there's like German trenches and stuff out here. It's crazy. But other than that, we just got our shot creek done last week. Um, you can see this is gonna be like a 10 inch deep, kind of a, an area for uh, lawn chairs, eight person hot tub, nice big pool, about 23 feet long. It's gonna be six feet deep at the end. We just ordered our tiles and uh, they should be coming in here in the next week. So we're gonna start our tile work soon and the pool should be done in about 30 days. Say hello to Amore, my little chihuahua. Boom. Just arrived on scene. What do you guys say we go investigate? Beautiful house. So there's a couple reasons why I brought us here. This is a fantastic entry level house. Uh, you can see we've got the stone facade on the outside. It looks modern. And we're in, uh, we're in Providence in Centennial Hills in the northwest side of Las Vegas. This is a master plan community. Again, this house is, it was built in 2011. And I just thought to be in Providence for under 250, we had to come see it. So let's go inside. Nice little covered porch. Walking up to the front door. Now guys, the people are still moving out. So there's a little bit of furniture. It's a little bit messy in here. So forgive that. I didn't know that coming over here, but hey, here we are. The life of a real estate agent. So we walk in with the two car garage immediately to our left. We're not gonna go in there because all the buyer's possessions are in there. So I would rather not disturb those. Okay, so downstairs hallway. We're gonna walk immediately into a downstairs bedroom with access to the backyard. This is a very interesting floor plan. This room is probably 10 by 12, average size room. We've got lighting in every room, which is fantastic. A lot of builders don't do that. We've got multi-level climate zones throughout the house, so you can independently cool or heat each level of the home. So walking on through, we'll go out in the backyard in a minute, but you can see we access the backyard from the, the bedroom down here. Small walk-in closet. Okay, into the bathroom. Basic flooring in this house. Again, guys, it's 245, what do you want? We're not in the recession anymore. 245 is a steal. So we've got vinyl, linoleum, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, a basic uh, contractor grade carpet throughout the home. Easy to change out. Fiberglass walk-in shower. Smaller bathroom down here, but functional. Okay, we're gonna check out the backyard. It's not landscaped, but we do have a nice covered patio with lighting and a ceiling fan pre-wire. So that's cool. Empty slate. So here's our, our side gate for access to the backyard. Stand over here in the corner, pan around. Smaller size backyard, but a lot of potential. I think this is definitely big enough to fit a hot tub or fire pit. Not a swimming pool, but you could do a lot back here. 
one AC unit because it's a smaller house. 13 sear, so we are energy efficient on this one. Generally, the higher the sear level, the more efficient the unit is. Downstairs level complete. Now we're gonna head up the stairs to the main floor. Everything's basic in this house. I mean, there's no high-end finishes, but again, it's a fantastic buy and you can change out a lot of these things yourselves and do some projects. So I say we go to the master first. All your appliances are included in this house. You're gonna get the washer and dryer. We've got some cabinets installed. Again, sorry for the clothes and furniture, but hey, it is what it is. The master's probably 12 by 12, 12 by 14. We've got a walk-in closet in between the bedroom and the bathroom, which I think is pretty nice. It's a good spot for it. Nice darker stained cabinets, dual sinks. I like the cabinets that they um, that they put in here, the upper cabinets. You don't see that very often. Our water closet and our bathtub combo. Unique floor plan on this house because it's a uh, it's not a traditional two-story, but it's not a split level So what we're gonna see now coming out of the master. We've got our kitchen to the left Let's open our pantry here Well, that's a coat closet <laughs> So coat closet right off the kitchen Just cheaper laminate, you know, countertops, basic, basic. 42 inch uppers, which is a great thing. All stainless steel appliances, they are GE. Gas range. Appliances match, which is always a good thing. Our walk-in pantry here. Just basic wire shelves. Again, you know, this is lower builder grade stuff. But at this price point, we cannot complain. This is a clean turnkey house. So off of here, this would be your dining area here, this carpeted area, just a small dining area. I've got all the, the shades shut, but we have a lot of lighting. These are really nice shades too. Have something similar at my house. It lets the light in, but you can't see through it. So you could walk around the house naked. And then here's gonna be your, your loft, your living room, whatever you wanna call this, equipped with ceiling fan. Pretty open living area up here. Woof! So the AC's cut off in this house. It's 93 degrees in here, so it's like a sauna. But you know, I don't like to mess with other people's stuff. I'm not gonna come in here and, and cut the air down. But guys, what do you think? Drop a comment below. Let me know if you like it, if you hate it, if you don't care, whatever. I think this is a tremendous deal. We're in the Northwest, and this is where you're gonna get a lot of bang for your buck out here. I would love for you guys to subscribe to the channel. I got a lot more videos coming. And again, as always guys, thank you so much for watching.